What's good? So I'm here with um, mixtape review, Young Scooter. Uh, dope mixtape cover, got him as like a little baby or whatever, what have you. And his head is on a baby body. I thought that shit was pretty dope. Um, it got 20 tracks. That's a lot of fucking songs, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, Street Lottery 2 was better to me. I I'm just going to keep it lit. But this wasn't half bad. Uh, far as features, you got chains on there. That's two chains, if y'all don't know. Lil Mouse. Right? Lil Mouse. Okay. Heavy Low. Waka Flocka. Future. Casino. OG Boo Dirty. Young Thug. Uh, K Blacka. VL Deck. Big Bang Black. OJ Juice Man. Um, Phil. Top Shotta. Uh, Casino. Mexican Ran. Draco, BMG, Sunny, man. Uh, basically, the whole shit, 80s baby, I fuck with it because I'm an 80s baby. You feel me? 80s born, 90 raised. Um, it's just about dope. Not lyrics, but dope. You know, the uh, crack era. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what the whole um, mixtape is about in so many ways. That's basically what it's about. Do I relate to this type of music? No. Not, not so ever. Um, but... It's just good to listen to it, you know, you, the, the trap rap where people said that it's not a lane for it anymore, you know what I mean? But he definitely did his thing, the intro was hard, you know, um, kept it short and sweet, you know, it wasn't no DJ on his mixtape, he basically said that. Um, moving on to number two, 80s Baby, it, I like that guitar in there, he also noted the same shit, uh, that guitar is, is dope as fuck. The beat was good, the hook, um, like I said, drug um, induced lyrics. A steady flow, you know what I mean? He sound like Gucci on there to me, you know, that at least that song he did. Maybe a couple of them, but nothing really too special about it, but I fuck with that record, it's dope. What I uh, rap about, basically we already know what he rap about, you know, drugs, selling drugs, being a drug dealer, transitioning from being a drug dealer to being a rapper, you know, number three, that was pretty cool. Um, number four, Life Support, featuring 2 Chains. Dope record, period, man. 2 Chainz definitely did his thing coming off that Free Bass uh, EP. Definitely looking forward to any future projects if he's rapping like that. But they make a great uh, collab for a song, so I had no problem with that. Number five, Chirac, Little Mouse. I mean, feature Little Mouse and Heavy Low. Uh, it's hard to say. The song was cool. Little Mouse verse was, it was straight. But it's just like hard to, it's not hard to believe with like a little 11, what are you, 12, 13 years old? Because niggas at that age is killing niggas in Chirac right now. But you know what I'm saying? So it's not to the point where you can say, okay, he's not writing his rhymes. He's not living that life. You can't say that in Chirac. So I get it. But it makes you look at like, why would you put this little nigga on uh, the song? You couldn't get Sosa. You couldn't get Fredo Santana, Lil Durk, King Louie, Lil Bibby. You know, any any people along uh, um you know what I'm saying? So, G count, anybody, you know what I mean? So, it's like, I looked at that as like, wow, like, you wouldn't got a kid to be on the track. But Lil Mouse verse was dope. Heavy Low did his thing. Um, it's a dope song. I just would love to know what influence him to pit, like, Lil Mouse on the track. Like, I'm gonna get Lil, Lil Mouse. And the song is called Chirac, so it is what it is. That's definitely gonna be one of the biggest topics at the end of the year for people doing their videos. The biggest shit ever with Chirac. Like, they had a hell of a 2014. Uh, number six, please God. It's just real nigga shit, man. Paying respect to the niggas that he lost to jail or death, you know what I mean? Just asking God, I wanna give him, like, can you give him back? I'll do anything to give him back. Like, I think a lot of people go through that where you don't really give a fuck about the money, you know, on your stroll and your road to success wherever you go. And, the closer you get to it, the more niggas you had, the more they gone from this life, jail, or dead. And it's just like, it's a lonely road at the end of the day. And you'll do anything to have your niggas back, get them good times back, their memories. And who can respect that? So I definitely salute them for that. Um, Ghetto Gold featuring Waka Flocka. Uh, Waka verse, to me, it was incredible. You know, he spoke on his personal life, which Waka really doesn't do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never heard him be that personal to talk about, you know, his mom. Uh, his his dead brother uh, K O R P to him, um, Fox. Y'all know the rapper um, Maserati Fox. You know what I'm saying how he said the line like he had just been out a week and got killed. So that definitely was a real personal verse, and I'm actually shocked that 
Walker went there with it, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel like he had the best verse on the song. Young Scooter did what he did, but that verse, when I heard it, I was shocked at it. Walker definitely did his thing. I like to hear Walker speak more introspective and a lot of his more his newer music. That I think that shit dope. It, it fits him in a way. But uh, Ghetto Gold was dope. Uh, Bag It Up, it's just for the trap, the hood niggas. I don't know about bagging nothing up, so... Unless it was weed when I was in fucking middle school, junior high, and high school. Other than that, I don't know about that dope shit. I'm keeping it lit. And a lot of you niggas don't either. So stop feeling like y'all was dope boys and y'all niggas wasn't. When the internet age came out, then y'all niggas started being hood niggas and trappers and all that shit. Knock that shit off, man. Be yourself. But yeah, number eight bag of that was pretty dope. Uh, number nine, Hector. I've heard that before somewhere. I just can't remember where, but I know I heard that song. I know that's not new. Um, number ten, Real Street nigga featuring... Um, OG Boo Dirty, this a real record, period. Everything about it was dope. The uh, beat from the hook, they uh, definitely make a good collab. You know, that's one of his uh, real partners that he grew up with. If you listen to the mixtape in the beginning stages of it, you definitely hear that. Uh, number 12, Off. Um, just more drug talk, you know, featuring K Black, a VO, Deck, Big Bang Black, you know, more drug talk. And after a while, it just becomes, oh, how many times can I hear you talk about dope in a rap game and you being a pusher? Yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Going back to number four, dope line. I done push more dope than push a T. Now, you can take that as a diss or just stating a fact or opinion, but that line definitely going to cause some some controversy in hip-hop. It is hip-hop, niggas, so we already know it's going to, you know what I mean, start something, whether push T saluted or look at it as a snub, a shot, who knows, but I just I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, moving off to number 13, Nobody, featuring Lonnie. It's just a song everybody can relate to. Like, that nigga was a nobody. I fucked that bitch. She ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody fucking with me, period. So, I fuck with that record. That shit was straight. Number 14, Partner, featuring Ode Juice Man. I thought it was okay. Number 15, Worldwide, featuring VL Deck and Phil. I wasn't fucking with that record. My kids, I respect that record to the fullest because, you know what I mean, He's speaking on his kids, and that's just a, a subject to where a lot of people don't do. But he definitely big his kids up. That show he a real dad, a real father. So I'm not a father yet, but I salute all niggas that actually take care of their kids and actually being there, being a father. You dig what I'm saying? It's a difference between a dad and a father. You know what I mean? Real men are fathers. But, um, yeah, that song is pretty fucking sick, man. Number 17, um, My Nigga featuring K Black, a VL deck, Top Shotter. I thought it was okay. Nothing really wrong with it, but it just... By this time, the mixtape lost steam. It's too many songs. Uh, number 18, Street Dirty. Maceo featuring Cass, um, Casino, my bad. Young Scooter and, and Mexican Ran. Just a song that I guess he was on. Do it on the mixtape. It was okay. Uh, I Don't Bang featuring Draco. Dope beat. The hook and the lyrics and shit is dope. It's just, he referenced that earlier in the mixtape. He don't bang, but no niggas that do. And if he point, nigga, they'll shoot. So you got to respect that. You know what I mean? No disrespect to the gang culture. I don't bang or no shit like that, but I salute them and respect what they do, and they show me respect for what I do, whatever the fuck that may be. If it's being great, it's being great. You dig? But at the end of the day, that song was cool. Number 20, Money Can't Changes, featuring BMG Sunny. It's just a real song, period, man. He ended this shit off dope, but I still think there's too many songs that's about dope. Uh, no consistency. It's still a lot of repetitive shit, but, you know, I give it 7 out of 10. Um, I like 14 out of 20 joints, production was 7 out of 10, but definitely I get it. It had a good concept, so you basically knew from the cover and the title, it was just going to be about dope. But I definitely want to see him move out of that lane, because if he really has enough bread and money that he's secure with certain shit, let's talk about something different. That got you to the point to where you hear and you got a fan base, let's move past that. Because I think a lot of rappers get stuck to where they rap about something for so fucking long, after they, they, that was the goal to get them to where they need to be, and they're there, and they're still doing it, and it doesn't work. I mean, how often do you hear Jeezy talking about that trap shit still? You know what I mean? He's forming back to that because that other shit didn't work, or T.I., but we see that, that it's, it's no lane for it in hip-hop anymore, because, like, in hip-hop now, you could be whoever the fuck you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So anybody could be a tough guy, anybody could be a shooter, anybody could be a dope boy. So it's like, you can't tell the real from the fake. So I just feel like he needs to be a little more, you know what I'm saying, craftier with his craft or not really you get what i'm saying right i'm saying this shit all fucked up i'm still half tired but still it's dope you know what i mean i fuck with it y'all should check it out you know what i mean i told y'all i bring it to y'all so hopefully y'all liked it if you didn't get down there and tell me why you didn't fuck with it 
One.